This video app review is brought to you by the iPhone app review.com. Hey everyone, Sarah Hanlon here with the iPhone app review.com. And today we're taking a look at Blurt Out, which is a unique social networking app for iPhone that focuses on the here and now. It's available to download from the App Store for free. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it works. So, just to kind of walk you around the app, when you initially set it up, you're supposed to sign in with either a social network or um, a separate blurred out account. Once you're set up, the app will ask you for your location, and just for privacy purposes, I'm showing uh, the New York City area. Um, once you're, you've granted the app access uh, to your location, you can see other blurts in the area. And as you've probably guessed, because Blurt Out is a fairly new app, there aren't that many users. So in my uh, local area, there weren't any users. And it doesn't look like you can travel in the map to other areas uh, to read blurts, which is good and bad, but probably more good <laughs> than bad. But uh, basically how the app is supposed to function is, in your local area it will show everybody's blurts and if you want you can follow people too and just like your blurt they'll kind of self-destruct after a set amount of time so it's kind of a friendly way to be friendly to a point if that makes sense you're not making lasting friends or anything in blurt out it's just kind of like people who are in your local area can communicate, and after that, you know, you don't really have to worry about them. So, you can see here, Blurred Out has a chat feature, and unfortunately there's nobody to really chat with, um, in my area at least, but this is where you could see all of your chats. People tab, same thing, no people in my area, unfortunately, but this would list all of the people that you've interacted with in your area. As far as the Me tab, this is where uh, it would show all of your personal blurts, and it would show stats, like uh, yeah, if you've received any toasts. Basically, a toast is kind of like a Facebook-like, just kind of like a cheers type of thing. And lastly, in the Settings page, this is where you can view the nuts and bolts of Blurred Out. You can also set your search distance, so this is basically the radius of uh, the area around you where you'll receive blurt, uh, blurt out updates. So naturally, if you're in kind of a semi-populated area, you want it, you want it um, further out. But if you're in a very dense city area, probably a little bit closer to you. So what we'll do next, so go ahead and show you how to make a blurt and all you have to do is tap that speech bubble in the top right corner and this is where you can write your blurt out you can attach a photo this is where you would type it so you could say like test um, that's where your text goes down here you can set your visibility private's good for if it's just you know you want to see it really good way to keep track of maybe a local spot you're interested in or you know personal notes and you can also set it public for like I said from an hour up to a day so your message will self-destruct eventually go back and optionally all of these are pretty much disabled by default you can optionally share your blurt to Facebook Twitter Google Plus Foursquare and Tapped and Tumblr but that is not mandatory at all. Like I said, Blurred Out is meant to be a here and now type of social networking app. It's not meant to keep your updates or photos or whatever stored until the end of time. It's just temporary stuff, but it's nice to know that you do have the option. As far as overall thoughts on Blurt, I think it's really cool. Uh, it's a great concept. I love the idea that it focuses on the here and now. 
it is a little bit tricky as far as not being able to find anybody to chat with, especially if there are no other users, so it's definitely in the early stages, but if you're in a very populated city like New York City or other major um, metro areas, there's a chance that there are other blurred out users, and it's definitely a social networking app that can be used really how you want to use it, so I recommend it if you're looking for something new. Again, Blurred Out is available to download from the App Store for free, and it's designed for iPhone. This has been Sarah Hanlon with the iPhoneAppReview.com, taking a look at Blurred Out. Till next time.